Well, you know, copyright law is very complicated. Most lawyers don't even understand it, so it's very hard to get, to get your hands around it. But the idea basically is it's simple. If you copy somebody else's work, that's copyright violation. But that's not what this is about. This is about copying an element of a work and trying to decide whether that copying occurred. Now, the law, of course, allows people to copy styles, general styles. I mean, that's right. how rock and roll developed influenced and emerged. By, you know. Right. And everybody says I was influenced by this right. particular artist. And I mean, all music development would stop if we weren't able to build on the elements of prior talented artists. And this is what a lot of people in the music industry fear with respect to this decision. They probably don't care about Robin Thicke, but what they care about is will this stop people from being creative? Now, the jury in the case, by the way, this is such a bizarre case. Now, we were able to play the two pieces of video right. to compare ourselves. Some people say, well, it sounds similar. Other people say, no. The jury in this case never saw that video because it was based on sheet music. The law changed in 1978, and you could only copyright what? sheet music. So that's why Robin Thicke played the piano from sheet music to demonstrate to the jury what the song sounded like. Okay, so Paul, back to 2015, um, <laughs> from 1978. What, it seems, it is all very subjective, it seems, in my yes. mind. But it also seems that this is happening more and more often. A lot of this copying, influenced by, a lot of this seems, though, to be settled out of court. Sam Smith, Tom Petty, that's the one that comes to mind for Vanilla me most Ice. recently. Vanilla Ice, that's right. <laughs> Vanilla Ice as well. He's Why did this one go so far? Well, because they wouldn't pay. They thought it was, I mean, you know, they Robin Thicke and uh, Pharrell's people thought it was ridiculous that they hadn't copied anything, that this was, they were simply using a style similar to Marvin Gaye's. But Thicke, when he got drunk, was making statements, explicit statements, saying that, yeah, they were, they took this from Marvin Gaye. So it created a court case where maybe there would have been a settlement. We got, we got 20 seconds left, Paul. How? close does it have to be to be an illegal copy and when can it be legally derivative? Well, it has to be virtually Oof. identical. And as a matter of fact, this case was decided by musicologists who one that expert exists? said it's the same and the other expert said it's not the same and the jury said they believed Marvin Gaye's musicologists. It wasn't them listening to the video.